hello hello everyone welcome to kumari's kids channel today's story is going to be about little red riding hood once upon a time there was a dear little girl who was loved by everyone who looked at her but most of all her grandmother and there was nothing that she would not have given to the child once she gave a little riding hood of red velvet which suited the little girl so well that she would never wear anything else so from that day forward she was always called little red riding hood one day her mother said to her come little red riding hood here is a piece of cake a bottle of wine take time take them to your grandmother she's ill and weak and they will do her good set out before it set out before it gets hot and when you are going to walk and when you are going to walk nicely and quietly and do not run off the path or you may fall and break the bottle when when you go into the into her room don't forget to say good morning and don't peep into every corner before you do it i'll i will take good care said little red riding hood to her mother and gave her a hand on it the grandmother lived out in the forest 2 miles from the village and just as little red riding hood entered the forest a wolf met her she did not know what a wicked creature he was and was not at all afraid of him good day little red riding hood said the said he thank you kindly wolf where are you going so early little red riding hood to my grandmother what have you got in your apron cake and wine yesterday was baking day so so poor sick grandmother is to have something good to make her stronger Where does your grandmother live, Little Red Riding Hood? A good mile farther on in the forest. Her house stands under the tree, under the three large oak trees, the nut trees, and nut trees are just below. You surely must know it," replied Red Riding Hood. The wolf. thought to himself what a tender young creature what a nice plum mouthful she will be better to eat than the old woman i must act craftily so as to catch both so he walked for a short time by the side of a little red riding hood and then he said see little red riding hood how pretty the flowers are around here why do you not look around i believe too that you do not hear how sweet sweetly the little birds are singing you walk gravely along as if, as if you were going to school while everything else out here in the forest is merry little red riding hood raised the eyes when she saw the sunbeams dancing here and there through the trees the and pretty flowers growing everywhere she thought suppose i take grandmother a fresh flower that would please her too it is so early in the day that i shall still get there in good time so 
She ran from the path into the forest to look for flowers. And whenever she had picked one, she fancied that she saw a still prettier on farther on and ran after it. And so Little Red Riding Hood got deeper and deeper into the woods. Meanwhile, the wolf ran straight to the to the grandmother's house and knocked at the door. Who is there, Little Red Riding Hood? replied the wolf. She is bringing cake and wine. Open the door, lift the, lift the latch, called out the grandmother. I am too weak and cannot get up. The wolf lifted the latch. The door sprang open and without saying a word, he went straight to grandmother's bed and devoured her. Then he put on her clothes, dressed himself in a cap, laid himself in that in the bed and drew the curtains. Little Red Riding Hood, however, had been running out picking flowers and when she had gathered so many that she could not she could carry no more, she remembered her grandmother and set out on the way to her. She was surprised to find the cottage door standing open and when she went into the room she had such a strange feeling that she said to herself, Oh dear, how uneasy I feel today and at other times I like being with grandmother so much, she called. She called out, Good morning, but received no answer. So she went to the bed and drew the back curtains. There lay her grandmother with a cap pulled far over her face and looking very strange. Oh, grandmother, little red riding hood said, what a big ears you have. All the better to hear you with. Was the reply? Was the reply. But grandmother, what a big eyes you have and all the better to see you with. But Grandmother, what a large hands you have, all the better to hug you with. Oh, but grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. All the better to eat you with and scarcely had, to, and scarcely had the wolf said this. Then with one bound, he was out of the bed and had swallowed up little red riding hood. When the wolf had appeased his appetite, they lay down in the bed, fell asleep and began to snore very loudly. A huntsman was just passing the house and, and thought to himself, how the old woman is snoring. I must just see if she was any, wants anything. So he went into the room and when he came to the bed, he saw that the wolf was lying on it, in it. Do I find you here, your, you monster? said he. I have long sought you, but just as he was going to fire at him, it occurred to him that the wolf might have devoured, devoured the grandmother and that she might still be safe so he he did not fire but took a pair of scissors and began to cut open the stomach of the sleeping wolf and the huntsman had made two sniffs he saw the little red riding hood shining and then he made two more sniffs and the little girl sprang out crying oh, oh how frightened i have been how dark it was inside the wolf after that the aged grandmother came out alive after that the aged grandmother came out alive also little red riding hood quickly fetched the great stones with with which they filled the wolf's belly and when he woke he wanted to run away but the stones were so heavy that he collapsed and fell dead. That then all three were delighted. The huntsman drew off the wolf's skin and went home with it. 
the grandmother ate the cake and drank the wine which little red riding hood had brought and revived but little red riding hood thought to herself as long as i live i will never leave the path by myself to run into the forest when my mother has forbidden me to do so okay thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video